Data Live is now entering its Kaguya Sama arc. Now, it's, it's a game of love, right? Love is war. Who is going to fall for the others first? First of all, if we fall for Kunumi first, I mean, I've already done. But if we do that and we say it, she's going to kill us. She's going to devour us. She's literally going to eat us. I hope she starts from the ass up. But how is this going to be resolved? Because either we have to confess, which we shouldn't, or Kunumi will just kiss us and then what? She said that one of us is gonna like lose our goals or dreams, right? Like only one of us can have the power. I still think that we'll seal Kurumi. She though will be able to use Yield Bed and try to accomplish Kurumi's goals, but instead of actually killing the Origin Spirit, it has to be more like, oh, we gotta save her too. But who actually is the Origin Spirit? Is it Reine? Is it Reine? Is that why she hasn't been saying shit since season one, just giving us a side eye every time a plot's being mentioned? I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, it's the. The shadow zone where all the clones are. They all just chill like this until like Kurumi summons them. <laughs> they all just float around like this. She's really planning ahead. My other selves. Path to Hades? Huh? Hell on Earth? Isn't Hades like the god of the underworld in Japan? Oh. <laughs> Cat Bento. <laughs> Kurumi's weakness really is cats. I mean, even in season one, when we first went on a date with her, she was saving a cat. Oh? Kurumi's homemade bento she can cook? Maybe she makes... Oh, wow, it's pretty colorful. Maybe she makes the other Kurumi clones cook. You know, there must be like a chef Kurumi. One of them. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, Toka, don't watch this! This is indeed an actual battle. Like, actually, like, Kaguya, so I got a bento. You got a bento. Who's gonna share the food first? You know, you can't take the first step. I do see their auras. Oh no, you first. Wow. So cute. Which one will you take? Maybe the black cat. We hardly ever see Kurumi like this. This is crazy. Yeah, this is all planned. Absolutely. He made it as cute as possible. The black cat. Black cat. Oh, it's the black cat. Don't eat. A you gotta eat it in one bite. You can't like... No! Now if you look at the food, it looks like you fucking killed the I guess it's that good though. <laughs> yeah, it looks like she's actually having an orgasm. Look at her. She's like, she needs the grip on the bench. She's shaking, bro. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, feed me. Feed me. Umoi. <laughs> now he's nutting too. Didn't you guys say that in Food Wars, people literally have like orgasms? I guess, like, this is probably not like that, but, you know. Yeah, because who cooks for him? He has to cook for everybody, bro. No, we're not exaggerating, are we? It's dangerous. Oh, the aura. Oh. <laughs> Could we eat a little cat rice balls? Oh, my God. Wow, they're both great chefs. Tea. Oh, you bought some tea? What is it? <gasps> miso! She got the miso prepared? Wow! She got to contain a thermo for that too? Where does Kurumi live? Does she have an apartment? Like, where does she even have the cooking utensils, the fridge, and all that shit? I was thinking, like, where does she have a kitchen and stuff like that? Maybe it doesn't really matter. Well played. Well played. Oh, there's something there for you. Oh! <laughs> Uh-huh. Nope. All you. All you. Oh, hanging out with Kurumi. What? He's setting it up and then... Of course. Of course. Damn, my man's resolve is made. Who do you think won this round? I think Shido won to an extent. Kurumi was fucking nutting over those cats. The day in question. What day is it? Is there a time limit? I forget. What? what? He's thinking about it? Do what? A kiss? But a kiss wouldn't really work. It would work for us, but not for Kurumi. And bye, girls. Won't even, she won't even acknowledge them. Be gone, thoughts. That's my man. Some swings, yeah? Okay. But I'm still worried that this isn't really the OG Kurumi. Like, this, the hairstyle and everything, you know? It just looks like the OVA Kurumi that we know. What is the point of the Wednesday? Is there a special day? Birthday? What is it? Valentine? Oh, it's Valentine's! 
Muku has to sit on the floor. She didn't get the couch. Same with Yoshino, I think. I mean, everyone's already falling for her, even without the chocolates. And Origami is gonna put some kind of weird shit in the chocolate to, like, again, Rufi Shido. What's the bed moving like that? What, what's the bed moving like that for? Who's under there? There's three, I think, entities in the sheets. Who is it? All, all three. All three. Oh, hello. What, what are we doing right now, though? What, what are you doing right now? Uh, uh, okay, if you say so, Origami. Okay. What, what are we doing, though? Man, even right now, Origami's still wearing the best, bro. What she's wearing, that laundry set, it's just like... Takes a special man to kick girls out like that in this situation. Who is it? Mm, clones? Is it Pilsy Bub's daughters? Remember, remember those girls, the clones? It is! And then snap and then boom. Uh, hello. Kind of cute, right? What? Like right now? Rip. Kamayo. Summon Sandalphon. Oh, this is just infinite torture. Wait, hold on. Is there any... We just had three girls in the house? And he's fine? They just left him? Did they just give up? Oh, no ribbon, Kotori. This is vulnerable. That ain't little sis. That's big sis. What happened? This is so much better. I'm looking at my big sister. Oh my god. I didn't know I needed this. How did this happen? Nibelko maybe did something? Thank you? You know those? The, the huge... <laughs> Uh oh, wait. Who is this? Oh, thank God! A legal Yoshino? Dude, did they all just turn into Big Titty Sister? This is my dream. Oh my God! A viable Yoshino! What the fuck? Everybody just became Big Titty Sisters? Oh, this is the best episode! I don't know what's going on though! I mean, Natsumi was always kind of in this form, right? Even though it's not her true form. How did they all turn into adults? What? Muku! Damn, she is dolled up. Where are Origami at? <gasps> we try to get a head start. <laughs> I think this is Hanyeol's power probably then? Yeah, she... Okay. I think this is just like Natsumi using Hanyeol to make everyone into like, you know, big sisters and then they're getting punished. It's cute though. <laughs> Little origami ba- Aw. Little origami is so cute though. Remember when it was like, who is who is she? And he's like, I am. It's like, she's Papa. Here's my papers. To ensure you don't fall victim, you're gonna make everyone else big titty sisters. Mature girl charms to get used to it. Okay, that's the plan. Okay. Little baby origami is so cute, dude. It's not- too bad because she's older. I don't even know, man. I think Muku is literally like a Japanese, what's the word? You know, uh, a courtesan. And he trips over himself. And Reine, the origin spirit? Reine, is that you? Reine, say something. Hmm. Huh? You know what's interesting? Reina also wasn't in the same room with Elliot when we went, when we go, went to meet Elliot. Isn't that kind of sus that Reina wasn't there? Reina, I don't need you to explain to me how chocolate works. I need to explain to me why you were not in the same room with Elliot when Elliot specifically said, I fell in love with the origin spirit. Isn't this shit a little bit too... too convenient? And also, what is that zombie bear in Reina's pocket? It's never been explained since season one. Maybe it's like a gift that Elliot gave to her, dude. Am I cooking here? Am I cooking, guys? Also, one thing that's definitive is that, you know, Reine's eyes, they don't have the white, you know, like spirit. Kotori, for example, you know, all spirits have white eye thing, but Reine doesn't. Maybe she's dormant. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Sus, man. Sus. What is she doing? What the fuck is she doing, bro? What is this chamber? Silicone for a mold? Is she gonna make a chocolate of herself? <laughs> this is why she's the best. 
contested. She's actually uncontested. No one comes close. No one comes fucking close. Like, what do you got me just her 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 shenanigans? This gets so ridiculous. Also, Rainy only calls Shido Shin. No one else does. Yeah, I've always wondered too, Rainy. Are you the origin spirit? Again? See? Like she's the only one that calls him Shin. Ah, uh, bullshit. Here's my theory. Shin is the name of the boy that Ellie was referring to Shiro as. You look like that boy. No, no, no. Am I cooking, guys? Am I fucking cooking or what? Maybe this is like some dumbass guesses, but I, I'm just... Get, I'm just working with what I have. My call is at Ryzen High and Shin. What's going on here? There's only nobody like that these days. What happened in the past? In the past? With Elliot? With Shin? Wait, oh, wait, wait. Was it Elliot? Or was this this person named Shin? Old in a wheelchair. Epic voice actor. Hmm. Give me more than that, though. Give me more than that. Past or future can surpass its place in my heart. Again, what do we do in Data Live? We convince spirits to fall in love with us. This has to be the origin spirit, bro. Right? Does that mean. Uh, hello, hello, Kurumi. Oh, shit. Did she come with the chocolate? She got the apron on too, man. I'm not even mad that Kurumi just like, you know, interrupted the rainy plot because we got a bit there. I think I'm cooking something, guys. Ah, all right, whatever. Bye, Reine. You gave us enough plot for today. She might just rip it up, dude. Look at that. She's eating so much, she got cracker stuff. I don't really have a good feeling on, you know, Toka making the chocolate, though. It's going to be monstrosity. Do you even know? She don't know either. Oh, look at that technical term. Tempering chocolate. Doesn't tempering mean letting the food like reach somewhat like room temperature? Because like tempering steak basically means you're leaving the steak out from the fridge so that it rises closer to room temperature before you cook it so it gets an even cook. Huh? You don't know what tempering means, do you? Are you sure you should do this? What if it burns if you do... Uh, you didn't temper it. Careful, it's hot! Ah, you dummy! <laughs> Does she? Not- oh god. That's what she made?! She's 3D printing now! Where is she getting all this tech from?! Maybe, maybe Natsumi knows. Ooh! Natsumi knew how to do the manga, and now she knows how to cook- Look, she's so useful. Couldn't be smiling? Maybe she is jealous or envious of like the dynamic here of the different spirits hanging out. Maybe she wants to be a part of it. Oh, back into the the Kurumi zone. What are they planning? Path to Hades, right? What is path to Hades? Who's dying? <laughs> Who's dying? They're gonna repeat this like 300 times for all the f And she does sake? I didn't realize I needed an older Kotori in my life, man. Oh my god. I know that some of you are lolly cons and it's fine. Like you, you, can, you can enjoy the head patch, you know, enjoy the lollies, but the big big titty sister archetypes, bro. It's so good. How could you not say you don't want that adult Kotori, man? Now, where are we going with this? Other than the Valentine stuff, I wanna talk about Reine, the spirit origin. There's 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 no fucking way. That Reine is here just telling us my first love in the past or the future. No one can compare. It's got to be Elliot. Elliot fell in love with this origin spirit. The teddy bear, I'm going to assume, is either from the Shin person or maybe a gift from Elliot. Reine was also not in the room with Elliot when they met. Because remember, Elliot specifically would have recognized Reine, right? But at the same time, Reine doesn't have the white dot in her eye. And I could be just going nowhere with this. Maybe these are all just red herrings, meaning I'm getting misled. Like, I'm cooking it too hard and shit's getting burnt. But sometimes I gotta make these crazy guesses and maybe one of them sticks. I'm standing firm that somehow Shido is the boy that Elliot talked about, modeled after Shido. Shido, maybe this boy that Elliot's talking about was Shin. 
somehow in the past reigning Shin Elliot. I don't know how that works, but maybe there's something there. I don't really know. And Kurumi passed to Hades, who's dying for Shido's sake. What does that mean? Why would it be for Shido's sake? And also, what happened at the night when those, you know, the the, the Bills Bills daughter just fucking just cut us? That's it? They're gone? There's something sketch here, man. There's something so sus, but also Origami MVP. But anyways, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.